can testosterone cause increased aggression, anxiety, and uh, anger? Uh, these things right here. Uh, can that happen uh, from testosterone therapy or you know what's going on with that? So maybe you're uh, thinking about going on testosterone therapy and you're concerned about these things, or maybe you're already on it and think they might be happening, or you have a loved one or spouse or something like that that's taking testosterone and you're just not sure or you know reading up on it and getting conflicting info so um, my name is Dr. Taranella and I do treat a lot of patients with uh, testosterone therapy males and females and so I do see this question come up quite a bit so I thought I would uh, post a video because a lot of people have this question and just kind of give you a little bit more details on you know what some of the things that I think about when this question comes up whether you're already on testosterone or um, <clears throat> thinking about starting it. So here we want to answer the question can testosterone cause aggression? Can testosterone cause anger can testosterone cause anxiety and um, the answer to that question is it can um, but it depends uh, so we're going to get into some of those details here so first thing probably want to look at in trying to address this question is where you're starting off uh, in your testosterone uh, at, at the baseline so usually i get this question um, from people that are thinking about doing testosterone therapy and they don't want to get you know, increased aggression or anger or nobody wants these things. Um, and so they're concerned about that. But if, when you're on the low end of the spectrum of testosterone therapy, these uh, that can actually uh, also lead to uh, uh, these types of symptoms. So the main symptoms of low testosterone are low libido, low motivation, and fatigue. Um, of course, erectile function would go in there too but but the kind of the main thing that you, you're you're seeing a lot of times is fatigue you just don't have the motivation to do x y or z and when you don't have motivation you tend to get irritated with lots of things um, so you might get irritated that you can't do it or you want to do it and or someone's pushing you to do it and you're you know uh, angry and just don't want to do it because you're tired um, so so we want to look at what low levels uh, in in the behaviors that those kind of portray. Uh, and so if you're starting out kind of low, uh, likely those symptoms are actually going to get better when you go on the treatment, whether it's a pellet or a topical or an injection. Um, but uh, if you overshoot the mark, that's when you're typically going to run into problems with uh, aggression and anger and anxiety in my experience um, and this can happen in females too uh, in, on testosterone therapy um, especially you know in the cases of um, go, uh, doing pellets because they tend to really get the levels uh, way high um, and so you'll see some of this occurring or I, I do see it uh, from time to time. So not always, but um, so, um, so the other thing to think about is, uh, you know, you want to know your body. So you may feel uh, really good uh, and feel like, yeah, um, things feel easier and I'm, you know, in the flow and uh, everything's fine at uh, total testosterone of 900 or 1,000. And then someone else may feel like kind of, you know, a little bit on the edge there. So you kind of have to look at, you know, the individual person and, you know, make sure those things aren't happening. If they are, you know, then you probably want to dial it back a little bit to the point you're still getting the benefit, but you're not pushing it too high um, to where you're getting these symptoms. Uh, the other thing to look at, which is probably more common, uh, is the estrogen levels. So, um, Estrogen can definitely lead to, uh, in males, uh, increased uh, aggression and irritability. Um, maybe not aggression, but anxiety and irritability, um, which can sometimes come across as aggression, I guess. Um, and in females, low estrogen can do that the same way that low testosterone can do that in males. But too much estrogen in females can kind of mimic this same thing. So, so you want to look at um, <clears throat> what your estrogen level is if you're on testosterone therapy, um, both male and female. Um, 
and uh, make sure it's not out of range. Uh, if it is, you're likely going to feel worse or at least not any better. Um, even if your testosterone levels are at that, you know, upper end of the range and maybe even more likely that it is. It's also important to make sure you're tracking, uh, looking at the estrogen level at specific times throughout your therapy. So if you're doing, you know, your cream every day, that's not going to matter as much. But if you're doing a pellet and you get your levels checked three months later, you don't see what it's, where it's at, you know, throughout that entire range. You're checking way down here. You may not get the right information or the accurate information. Same thing with the injection. If you're doing an injection every week or two weeks or uh, twice a week, um, you want to make sure you're checking the estrogen level um, at the peak or close to the peak uh, so that you get an accurate understanding of where your levels are at. Uh, if you're not, then you're really uh, just sort of shooting in the dark and you definitely can get these symptoms. Now, of course, the last thing, you know, with uh, so super high levels definitely can cause this. The other thing is synthetic testosterones, uh, you know, more like the stuff that would be used for bodybuilding and, um, you know, anabolic steroid type things um, will uh, more commonly lead to anger and aggression and, um, irritability and things like that. But in those cases too, you know, they're, uh, you know, you could use, you know, just uh, the same type of testosterone that we would use for treatment. And, you know, if you're doing it enough to way too much, you're going to get the same kind of, uh, anger and irritability that would happen from a synthetic, uh, because they, they're just, you know, dosing it however they think, uh, to get the most muscle growth. And it's, it's too much for your body and specifically your brain. And so, you get all inflamed and people don't feel good, but, you know, they're looking at it for different reasons. But the same thing, you know, in the case where you're taking too much testosterone, uh, estrogen is going to get high. It's going to make you irritable. And uh, and if it gets too high, uh, the testosterone in itself can also lead to this, too. So pay attention to those things, um, and uh, I think you'll be better off. So hopefully this video did address the question of can testosterone cause aggression, anger, and anxiety, or you know other types of symptoms that could be categorized like irritability. Um, uh, and hopefully it was useful overall in uh, you know helping understand how testosterone works in your body. Um, if this type of information is useful and you like this kind of format, please click on the the like button. That will help me to. Uh, decide which types of formats and video content to uh, provide in the future. Um, if you do have follow-up questions about this uh, particular topic, you can feel free to post uh, questions in the comments section, um, and I'll try to get to those. Um, keep in mind that, uh, you know, this is a pretty broad topic, testosterone therapy, you know, when do I, uh, when's the best time to take my estrogen blocker, when's the test best time to inject, how often do I need it, what kinds, you know, all these questions uh, could be addressed. Uh, so if you like this type of content on hormones and diet, and um, different health-related topics, uh, click on the subscribe button because I'll be posting more videos like this one very soon, and we'll see you next time.